Hey everyone, welcome to Stratelli Studios. I'm Jeff Castanon. Welcome to another no pause video reaction and analysis. Although I think this is going to be more of a reaction than an analysis because my viewer, Eric, has unknowingly found a vein uh, with this song. This is Al Stewart, Year of the Cat. This song is incredibly special to me because it has been in pretty much every vacation playlist that I have made since um, 2018 uh, when I was going through my divorce and eventually um, got divorced in 2019. And it was an extremely difficult time for me. And all the trips that I took uh, included this very special, simple, beautiful song by Al Stewart of all, of all the artists. Um, yeah, I, 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 you know, it's not typically, Al Stewart is not typically, uh, someone that I would have expected would have had such an impact on me as he has. But this song um, is is something else, man. Every time I hear it, I get really super choked up. So we're going to, we're going to get this. We're going to get through this together. All right. I'm just going to put it in the corner there because it's just the audio, but I do want to talk about the music in it uh, afterwards. Um, but uh, this will probably be mostly a reaction. So let's, let's do this. Here we go. Of 
Oh boy. Um Oh man. A couple of things I want to talk about regarding the music of this and then I'll get into a little bit more of the personal side of this thing. Um there's there are so many signature discrete things in this song having heard it so many times that I look forward to the little bouncy bass part the the sliding double stop on the guitar the beautifully done triple solo in this thing with the acoustic guitar the electric guitar and the saxophone the prolonged intro of this song these are all things that contribute to the magic of this song and make it so incredibly special not to mention al stewart's beautifully proper english gentleman's <laughs> vocal <laughs> i mean you could hear his accent i mean i love i love that it's so pure there's something about his voice in this and all of his songs that it's just it's just like the the distinguished english gentleman that i love and um this this song is um is so incredibly special and um on a personal note i i want to i want to say to anyone out there who is struggling with with something and for me it was um struggling with my 
my um, divorce and the deterioration of my family and the selling of my house and the moving and the, the changes and the relationships that are broken and all the other stuff. And for those of you who've been through divorce, you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's incredibly difficult. Um, uh, and I don't think that you can possibly understand how difficult it is when you start the process and you, and you go through it. And, and I think that, you know, for some people they got lucky and it wasn't that incredibly difficult and boy, oh boy, who kudos to you. Um, but it can be extremely difficult and not to dwell on that part of things, but I know for me at the time, uh, going through incredibly difficult changes in my life and living in a little room at my sister's house for the years that I was going through the divor divorce and not having any money during that time and the incredible amount of spousal and child support that I had to pay. Um, so I was barely able to, to survive at that point financially, uh, even though I have a really good job. <laughs> but um, you have to keep going forward. You have to keep doing your job. You have to keep moving forward and finding some way to find the light at the end of the tunnel when you don't even see the tunnel. The one message that I want to give to anyone out there who is struggling, whether it's divorce or other things in their lives that are a temporary thing, um, sometimes these things drag out in your life and they seem to take forever. And it, it, the changes in the right direction or in a positive direction are so incrementally small that it doesn't feel like you're making any progress, but you are in, in, in a lot of ways, in a lot of things. And I say that because I think that we don't think about the things that we get in situations like this that are good for us. And, and what I mean by that is that when we go through difficult times, we grow. And I know that's such a cliche thing to say and that people say it all the time, but um, it, is, it is real. It's real. It took about seven years for me to get through the whole ordeal, to end up in a better place, and to recover from what I went through. And the crazy thing about it is from all that I had gone through, uh, and I won't get into details, but you know, it involved um, things that I, I never expected would be affected in my life by this. I, um, I grew in a way that I, I didn't expect. And I ended up becoming the person, the man that I always wanted to be. And that was having strength and independence and character and a lot of things that I, um, I didn't expect to happen in my life. I'm so much happier who I am now being who I am now having going through all of that. I'm so much happier in my life now because I went through all of that and Patience was the number one thing that I learned from the whole ordeal because that was the hardest thing to learn. But that has served me in so many other ways in my life. And the strength that I achieved through it is priceless, absolutely priceless. And the last thing I want to say about it is that things do change even though it doesn't seem like it, if you're in a dark place right now and you think that 
how can things get better? You, you can't figure that out from where you're at. It's like being at the bottom of a mountain and there's a ledge up top and you're trying to see what the view looks like from up there. It's impossible. You have to climb the mountain to see what the view looks like. So I encourage anyone who's going through difficult times right now, just take it one day at a time and just take one step, take another step and be patient because it will change. And who you become when it's all over and you're all the way through it is a better person than who you were when you started the journey. So with that, if you've gotten this far, don't lose hope. All right. That's enough for me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.